Question 7. In the circles, write in multiple that belong to each set. One has been done for you. Now there are two ways of doing this question. Very, very simply what you could do for multiples of 20 is just write out the multiples of 20. So we could have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. So we could choose anything that's between 101 and 199. So we could have any of these numbers to go in here. Okay, we could do the same for multiples of 30. So we go 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300. So again, this time we're looking for anything between 201 and 299. So we could have any of these three numbers in this answers box. For the final one, we've got to do numbers from 301 to 399. And this is multiples of 40. So 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320, 360, 400. So we could have any of the numbers between 301 and 399, so that either of these two numbers here could go into the answer box. That's one way of doing it. There is actually another way of doing it, which actually involves less work, less work than writing out all of these numbers each time. So let's have a look at another way of doing it. So what you could do, and we'll start with this one at the bottom this time, what you could do is you could say, well, 301 to 399, I will call that 300 to 400. And then what you could do is actually knock off the zero, one, one of the zeros from the end, and call it 30 to 40. But if you're gonna knock a zero off here, you could knock a zero off to 40. So the reason why we're doing this is because instead of looking for multiples of 40 between 300 and 400, we've actually made everything 10 times smaller. So we'll look for multiples of 4 between 30 and 40. Well, if you know your 4 times tables, you will know that 8 4s are 32, 9 4s are 36, and 10 4s are 40. Now all we've got to do now is put the zeros back on the end because we made everything 10 times smaller so these answers we need to make 10 times bigger so if these are the multiples of 4 between 30 and 40 add a 0 on each one they will be the multiples of 40 between 301 and 399 obviously with the exception of 400 because that's gone over 399 so you could have either 320 or 360 in this answer box here now we could do exactly the same method for this one. So if you call that 200 and that 300 and knock a zero off each one to make it 20 and 30, knock a zero off the 30 to make that 3. So let's actually look for multiples of 3 between 20 and 30. Well if you do your 3 times table, you have 21 is 7 threes, 24 is 8 threes, 27 is 9 threes, and 30 is 10 3. Now if you stick the 0 back on the end of each of those, 210, 240, 270, 300, you'll actually get your multiples of 30 back. So you could have any of these answers in the answer space. So 210, 240, or 270. And you could do exactly the same method for multiples of 20 as well. Although it might actually be easier just to write out the multiples of 20 because that's a little bit easier. You've only actually got to go up to 199. Either of those two methods will get you the same answer.